And then all of a sudden, we hear a noise, the engine shakes. I go, what was that? <laughs> So on my third day, lesson six of training, um, we were coming into land to Sporty's Claremont County Airport, and um, I was not very stabilized. It was a little, a little uncontrolled. So we decided to do a go around. When we did a go around, I did full power. I did actually um, pull up my flaps. I think a little too quick. And as we're kind of struggling to climb, I'm wondering, did, did I do that wrong? Is that my fault? And then all of a sudden, we hear a noise, the engine shakes. I go, what was that? What did I do? I'm all worried that I just hurt the airplane. We're, you know, we're, we're not climbing. Something's going wrong. And um, we're headed straight for the trees at this point. We're past the airport. And um, Matt immediately grabs the yoke. And I say, your controls. He's so laser focused on figuring out what we're gonna do. Doesn't bother to say my controls, doesn't need to. I know he's gonna take care of it. So we've got houses to the left of us, trees under us, trees ahead of us, and trees to the right of us with nowhere to go. And he ends up doing a 180, telling the airport that we're coming in for a reverse land landing and um, somebody broke off the pattern from vinyl. Somebody else got off the runway and said, you're clear, come on in. And um, he just handled it. He, he slipped that plane in. We are still producing a little bit of power, so, but you never know when that power is gonna fail. So um, he slipped it in and then all of a sudden, um, we, are, we are not center line. <laughs> we are left of runway and what I felt was nose diving towards the grass. And I just thought to myself, um, keep limp. You know, you survive if you stay limp. That's, that's, that's it, just, just, you know, whatever. And, um, and he just slipped it right back and, and got back center line. And then all of a sudden we have way too much power and we just float, float, float down at least half the runway, past half the runway. And then he just slides it on in, we land. We taxi to the maintenance hangar, and I just go, good job. You did good. Um, it, it, was an interesting, uh, it was an interesting lesson. Keep in mind, when we did the debrief and we looked at all the footage and we broke down what actually happened, what was good, what wasn't so good, um, we found out that we were actually only at about 254 AGL when that cylinder blew. And we had to make that decision to do what is typically called as the impossible turn and turn back to that runway.